May 15th. This is one of my little sage I need to plant in my garden that I got from the store. But I left it out here so it could get some rain. And boy did it rain. It started about 4 o'clock in the evening yesterday and went till, I don't know, um, at least till my husband and I went to bed. But he came home and he brought this. Um, there's a gentleman that on the work site where they're working at that lives um, next to where they're doing their job site at. And um, he's become pretty good friends with my husband. And he's he loves going to antique sales and whatnot. And he's got quite a bit of stuff. So he gave my husband these old tractor seats. And my husband really liked this wagon with the little skinny wheels. And he said, my wife's probably going to make it into a flower bed. I said, well, it's a good idea. I don't know if that's exactly what I'll do. But then he also brought home this wonderful handmade wicker rocking chair for me and he said beautiful you can do your morning vlogs out here in the rocking chair so this morning was my first time doing my morning vlog and my morning vlogs are tea with Jamie and I had my phone connected to up there on the window and then ended up falling down so I got to rig something up probably over in this section I wanted it right over here actually but um, I don't know but it is I love it um, one thing that I think that I would probably do is get a cushion for the back of it but when you lean so far back on this it feels like you're gonna fall because it obviously you're not gonna tip over but I really love it it is handmade and I I'm just thankful that my husband brought it home. It does have a little where it should be glued, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> but I love it. It is just fantastic. So I think I'll keep it turned. And then when I want to take breaks, I mean, this is what I'm looking at when I'm over here. I can see all this beautiness. But... Yeah, we, we got a bunch of rain, that's for sure. And uh, it made it so my day was cut short, but I'm thankful. We needed rain. Obviously, God knows best. And um, so we needed the rain. It kind of filled back up our little whatever you want to call that mud hole. And... Um, Definitely got everything wet, which is great because I put flower seeds down. I put some grass seed down and it got a good soaking. I just hope that that up there didn't get washed away because we did get quite a bit of rain. So now I'm going out to the goat barn to start unhooking some rabbit cages to put into their garage. And I did get four of my rabbits moved already out of there um, so I could unhook their four cages and put a new set of legs on there so it could stand properly in there on its own oh no I forgot to shut the water off we have a, a leak in our hose so I have to remember to do that I forgot all about it when I was coming back up I got the drill in my arm here so I'm kind of holding it tight so I don't drop it so I got to try to figure out if I got the right um, socket to actually withdraw the screws out of the um, rabbit cages it's okay ducky you're all right I'm just gonna shut the water off my husband's got piles of cat food everywhere for her because that's what they kind of like eating, even though they got their own grain. But she can't just get up and walk anymore, so he makes sure she has that. 
she usually runs when I come up here, but I tried to explain to her <laughs> this morning when I see that's their grain right there. There's a silkworm falling, but I tried telling her I wasn't going to hurt her, and that's as far as she got in her water. She does get around still, but it takes her a long time. Is that Hercules coming down? Sure does look like it. <clears throat> you coming to get a drink, boy? Yeah, he says, I'm thirsty. So my husband has decided, and I, I agree with him, instead of making our hen's pen go this way, we're going to make it come this way so they have all this greenery as they need that more than like the roosters and other stuff. So our roosters are actually going to be on this side of the hens. The hens will be in the middle, then it will be ducks and meat birds or however we put it. But I think this weekend they're going to get their pen actually put up since this is already ready for them. All we got to do is just put fencing up. <clears throat> and then I'm going to try to, after I get these cages moved, possibly today, possibly, um, then get my board cut so I can get my garden bed finished so I can get my plants planted in it because it's going to take me a little bit to oh. actually um what are you doing Jazzy um get it filled so I'm gonna go ahead and get I'll show you guys quick and then I'm gonna get it taken down obviously and then when I get it moved into here I'll show you guys that it's in there and then I got to take four rabbits out which I only have five left in here five groups of rabbits I should say and move them into that pen and then um I can actually start cleaning my barn out again so this is the four I just got to unhook it from here and then I'll have to take four of these rabbits out and then put them into this cage. I think where I actually got the other four at, I'm just going to leave in there, take their name tags off and put them on that pin, and then move these name tags down, yada, yada, yada. And that's how I'm going to do this. So stay tuned. I thought I'd show you guys how difficult this is to do by yourself. Starting to get sweaty, so I'm probably gonna end up taking my cold over off because it's starting to warm up outside. But how I have to figure this out isn't very easy. So I really gotta lift this cage up some, but I almost think my problem is gonna be is trying to get it up on there like it should be about right there. But now I need something to be able to put in there to hold that there so then I can secure it. And that's something that I'm going to have an issue with. So, I mean, it's like when you're trying to do this on your own, it's very, very hard. And the only thing I've got is binder twine, which we always keep a little bit around. That's for sure and true. Um, this is probably, I want this about right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this and now I gotta try to figure out how to get this booted up. Maybe my tail, my milking tail, maybe is up far enough that I could. Uh, I think this is too, too high.
and dry pour in here so we don't have any more of this nasty water every time it rains and floods this barn out. That'll be nice. Time will tell. Darn it, I still am not over far enough, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead
shut this door. Hopefully I can call it out of here. I know when we used the six, it was like magic. Because we just did it in between and had two pages on the outside. But I don't know how this is actually going to work. Moving this with the wheelbarrow. I'm not sure. The wheelbarrow is not working for just four, but it will work perfectly for that. So I'm having to drag this just a little bit and then have to lift the back up a little bit. I've still got quite a ways to go to get in there. But this is going to take me a little while, which I'm okay with. I got to go take a pee. So I got to run back up to the house and then come back out. But I thought I'd show you guys that this is what I'm having to do. And I'm getting wore out already. When you have autoimmune disease and you got to do stuff by yourself, it's quite hard to do on your own, that's for sure. And I see that I need a bolt over in this corner and then this bottom come apart. So I got to make sure to put that back on. And actually, I think there might not be a bolt down in the bottom of this too, or is there? No, there is. It's just not up here, which is making this come apart pretty well. I don't know if I should just tack one in there real quick and then call it good. Yeah, I think I can get one in there. And then maybe that would hold this together better. But I gotta go pee and then I'm gonna get this put in there and then show you guys I got it in there. Oh, goodness sakes, everybody. That was. Oh, I'm tired now. But man, that was a pain in my butt to do. So now I just gotta get some stuff to fasten it to the legs on this because this cage right here can hold this side down. And then this one right here. And then the next cage that comes up, I just have to try to rig it in too so it can stay. And this will keep the whole garage from flying away if it had to. Because when we had that tornado warning come through and we had some of those high winds and stuff, it did pull up some of the, just one. And then on this side, I had to walk them back in. They were up about an inch to two inches. But, whew, I am, I am, uh, for sure tired. I'm going to have a ton of stuff to clean up, as you can see. Try to get that raked back in and flattened back out, too, where I'll make divots. But now i got to move four rabbits into these I'm just gonna change my stuff out and put them over here because this is where everybody's staying at I thought I would change them around and stuff but I don't think I'm gonna I've got her daughter next to her this one I might throw next to her mom but I'm not for sure I could put her her back right there where she was and put her mama next to her but um and then I could put Haley and um her daughter, vice versa, I'm not sure. But I was thinking about taking 
all the mamas at least and getting them in here with their babies which is what that'd be Haley Bluebell and then one other I could move the other mama in here who's due in three four days she's due on the 19th so I think I'll do that and um, then try to get that cage moved in here too and then that could be checked off my list but for now I'm going to take me a little break, sit down in my chair, and just rest for a few minutes. Well, another goal. Checked off the list. I got all my does moved back into here. I just got to put name tags where they belong. I got to clean the bottom of that cage out because there's some stuff hanging down. So I still got to do that. And then put some pans in. Get those cleaned out get some clean pans put in then i got five cages available <clears throat> but i already know that i'm going to pull one of Haley's little orange girls that she's got and that's going to be holly and then i possibly got another one i'm going to keep possibly that'll be named libby but if not it'll still be okay but I'm looking forward to keeping some of Bluebell's Brokens, possibly a daughter out of her. Just one. Hopefully it's a Broken. And then that one, I will probably name her Libby instead. Since I've got a Holly for the other little doe. And that will actually kind of help out here a little bit. And then I just got to start buying more cages to do. Um, feed out cages with so with that being said I got to get the two feeders in there And that one's drying out because I sanitized it and really got it good because I had quite a few that um Passed away in those two cages, so I wanted to make sure that they were cleaned out properly and sanitized even though I still don't know I think it was just bloat from switching feeds um, that does happen and then um, heat exhaustion probably too was in it but those were babies so um, everything else so far has been doing very well I haven't lost any more and everything is looking good so with that being said I'm gonna end this video thank you guys for watching We'll see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless.